sun had lost its warmth, and there was a chill in the air, but there was barely any clouds in the sky. The barn cats were making the most of the dry weather, and Elsa had had enough of the kids getting under her paws. She took them out to the field to burn off some energy. It was a long walk for their little legs, and despite their excess energy and overall excitement, they were still complaining on the journey. There hadn't been foxes centred around here for some time, but as the family rested, she reminded the kids to stay close and not wander too far, just in case. She pointedly looked at Fawn and Violet as she said this. If there was anyone that was going to get into trouble, it was those two. She didn't fail to spot that cheeky smile at one another before darting off into the two-legs crops, hunting one another and bugs in the sunlight. For once, all the kits were behaving. All six of them were where she asked them to be, and all the fighting was of the playing variety, instead of the squabbles that broke out. Just for a moment, Alcide let herself relax. Just a little. It wasn't often she could close her eyes without one or another of the kits demanding her attention. The peace and quiet made a very pleasant change, she thought to herself. At that moment, the calm was broken by the screech of foxes as they broke through the undergrowth, seeming to come at her and the kits from all sides. In panic, the kits ran to her from all directions. A large male dashed for a kit nearest to her, and she launched an attack, claws flying. He bit back, his teeth landing on her shoulders before she could turn away. Blood flew, but she hissed and spat. With the kits safely behind her, as quickly as they had attacked, they dropped back and returned to the den. Relieved, she turned to check the kits were okay. One, two, three... In panic, she realised two were missing. Thorn and Violet were gone. In the confusion, the two kits must have run away and been snatched up by two young females. The last thing they had seen was the fight between their mother and the big male and her blood flying. They had been rapidly carried towards the fox's den, but had fought back. The two inexperienced females had decided there would be easier prey someplace else, prey that didn't rake their claws across their muzzle and bite chunks out their ears. The two kits were abandoned in the woods, and the foxes made up a cover story as they returned back to the den. Violet stumbled about in the leaves under the trees, cooling out as she did. It was so strange. The air was strange. The leaves were strange under her paws. And where was the sun? All she could see above her were branches and some leaves. Suddenly, a familiar scent wafted past her nose. She followed it and found a thorn in a clearing, looking very confused. He was glad to see his sister walking towards him and not another terrifying fox. The pair curled up together and groomed one another to reassure themselves. Finally, prompted by their rumbling stomachs, they tried to find their way home. But they were so lost. The foxes had taken them some distance and the woods were so confusing. All the trees looked the same and they could be walking in circles for all they knew. The pair stuck close as they walked around the edge of a gorge. Something to the right of them made a branch snap and as it did, Thorn lost his footing. Scrabbling about, he knocked Violet off her paws and both kits tumbled into the camp below. Out, who had been dozing the rest of the sun gasped as two small kits tumbled into her. Where on earth did these two come from? She didn't recognise their scent. They shook the dirt off their pelts and looked up at her, eyes wide with fear. Poor little things. They looked terrified. She spoke in a reassuring voice. Hello there. Where did you come from? And where's your mum? That was the last straw. After a long, tiresome, eventful day, the kits broke down. Through the sobs, Dapple Pelt pieced together their story. We walked so foxes attacked us, and our mum was killed, and we've been in the woods for ages, and we're so hungry. She gathered them up to her, and they were glad of her warmth 
that her fur gave them. Come with me now. We have food, and there's always space for two long, young warriors like yourselves. She nudged the kits towards the queen's den. They finally began to feel safe for the first time in the entire day. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 3 Warrior Cats. Now, I'm sorry there hasn't been many videos out. I actually broke my microphone. So I had to get a new one and then that took a while to get here. And it was just all hectic. And what was that? Uh, lag. Stop lagging. Please stop lagging. Thank you. So as you saw... Uh, we actually have two new kits in the clan. This is Violet. I still need to put kits at the end of their names. And Thorn Kit. And they are actually Alcite's kits. Now they think Alcite is dead. And <laughs> Golden Kit and Petal Kit are playing outside the nursery. I feel like Dapple Pelt's kind of keeping them out the nursery temporarily so that the kids. Rest. But yeah, uh, they were out playing in the field when a bunch of foxes came over. The foxes actually left because they decided there must be easier prey somewhere else. But, um, yeah, they're over there, and Broken Star, what are you doing? Where are you? Why are you down at the odd herb place? Who's that? That does not look like a fish. Um, hello? Who are you? Oh, that's, that's Silverfoot. And Plum Ripple. Okay, so apparently Broken Star decided to lead a hunting patrol. I didn't do that. I actually went out the world, um, the world, the, uh, family for a while. So I can, I could go and find, uh, not find, go and get our site so I could, uh, do some, bleh, record the beginning bit. So, <laughs> obviously he had decided to come down here and, uh, do a hunting part, uh, have a hunting party. I'm pretty sure I saw another cat along the edge of here, uh, not too long ago, but apparently she, or he, is not there anymore. So, okay. Greystorm, what are you doing? Oh wait, hang on, I forgot to it, he's fine, we don't have to worry. Everything is good, so I think, what do you need to do? Not sure, I think it's his fleas, so I actually have a rodent, I feel like we caught a rodent in the last episode. Yeah, you have a rat, so you can get rid of Greystorm's fleas whilst you've decided to rescue Woohoo. And Plum Ripple, what did you- Moon caught fish. How many- f okay, a load of cats catching fish. I'm not going to complain about- oh, he got better. <laughs> That's kind of amusing. He went to- he's, he's trying for kits of Ivyclaw and all of a sudden he's really happy. Uh, okay. Blackberry, where are you? Oh, I didn't mean to pause it. Oh, you're- right. why is there a table here? Alright, uh, I need to delete that. That's- uh, I uninstalled my mods temporarily and then- I forgot to reinstall the mods before I saved on this world, so now there's a load of tables around here because one of my custom content pieces was a table. So that's fun! Lag, stop lagging. Please turn the camera, maybe? Thank you. Um, any kits? Or no kits? Still no kits. Okay. Cool. Come, uh, groom, gr uh, grey storm to get rid of his fleas. Violet Kit, what are you doing? Oh, you're snuggling with Dapple Pelt. So Dapple Pelt's kind of taken these kits in as her own, as her mate did die. So her mate's up in Star Clan. Now Dapple Pelt may take a mate in the future and have kits of her own, but I feel like she would be she grieves her mate and she wouldn't really want to take another mate. And it would take a while for her to take another mate. No pun intended. Uh, but she has kind of adopted these two kits that actually fell into the territory. Now, I didn't do that. Uh, I reloaded, so I wanted to do that. I've actually... So I went in <laughs> and I edited the other barn. So I didn't like the way the other barn looked. So now there is this. It looks very similar to the one over here, but I did build this one from scratch. So this is completely different. Um, except I did use the base lot of the other barn, hence this bit looks pretty, well, almost identical. But yeah, the other cats live over here, and I went out the family and went into this family to do that, hence their wants are different, and, um, yeah, uh, I came back to find two small kits in the middle of my camp, so that was amusing. It's just what the Sims 3 game throws at you. 
I personally quite like random cats showing up in the camp because it's like it it just it feels nice. Uh, Broken Star, you have caught a kissing Garami. Oh, that's really sweet. I think you give that to Plum Ripple. Plum Ripple's catching a lot. Oh, she has finished fishing. Okay. Uh, I pause it whenever I travel over to Lot because it makes it less laggy. Plum Ripple, you could where's uh Broken Star? Come over and actually present the kissing Garami. Uh, present to Plum Ripple. What Silkfoot managed to catch? Three-eyed fish. A whatever fish that is. Okay, that's good. Uh, I feel like Silverfish. Silverfish? What? <laughs> Silverfoot! I'm not sure why I called him Silverfish. Silverfoot. We'll do a bit more fishing. He's just that kind of cat. I feel like he ended up becoming Deputy. He's definitely Deputy material. And though he has two young kits, um, he like it, it's a different relationship with him bleh, 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 bleh. I can't speak he has with his kids then like uh, Plum Ripple has with his kids because Plum Ripple's kind of ended up half adopting his kids uh, Plum Ripple I think Plum Ripple she's not like really hungry you do need to pee uh, Plum Ripple pee uh, that's a good point do I have autonomy turned back on because I turned it on for that cliff at the beginning and I haven't uh, I don't think I turned it back on no <laughs> useful Thank you. Plum Ripple, um, I think you would come and actually eat the fish that uh, Broken Star gave you. And then you can, I think Broken Star would do a little bit more fishing. And when's the next full moon actually? Oh, it's in a day. So in the next episode, we may be seeing the clans meet up. Because the gatherings do to start and I feel like this time wouldn't be a terrible time. Yeah, the clans haven't been around for very long, but Broken Star so Moss Clan, and Moss Clan uh, does know of Branch Clan. Branch Clan? What? Ugh. Moss Clan. Honey Clan knows of Broken Clan. Uh, I was... Okay. <laughs> if you can't tell, I've been watching series, Warrior Cat series, hence I said Moss Clan and Branch Clan. Uh, Silverfoot, you managed to catch more prey? <laughs> he caught a frog! Oh, that's cute. I feel like he might go down to maybe like Thorn Kit and give him the frog. Uh, just random kits show up in camp, and that would be really cute. Blackberry, you're going to sleep. Yeah, you are. Your energy is pretty low. Ivy Claw, your energy is quite high, right? Where's uh, Graystorm? Graystorm, your fleas have now gone. Ivy Claw, you can sell that rat. Graystorm, uh, you need to pee. I'm just going to click pee on here because it means I don't have to go. Oh, he wants to sniff Hazel Star. That is interesting. And Shardfang. And these two cats actually, uh, what is that? Troutfoot? Troutfoot is a cat at the barn, but he wants to sniff. Well, you can't sniff her. She's dead. Uh, she wants to sniff Shardfang. Uh, I'm going to delete Shardfang for Plum Ripple because you can actually fulfill that want. Plum Ripple, what are you doing? You are pretty, and I feel like Plum Ripple may be tired for other reasons, despite hunting. So I don't think Broken Star would be mad if she kind of curled up down here and went to sleep. You can go sleep now, Broken Star. You also need to pee. Why are the cats never peeing? Uh, no. Mm, silver fur with the odd, the, the uh, fish place thing is the water, right? You can do some fishing if you are hungry. Broken Star, you can do some fishing as well. Uh, oh, you want to max out on your hunting skill. How close are you to that? Oh, you are pretty close. You want that You want that way more than you want to sniff any of the other cats. Um, I feel like you can't really sniff Cloud Whisker, but I'll keep that in mind. Oh, he does want to meet a new pet, though. So maybe he wants to go down to the barn and see if you can recu recruit some new cats. Or maybe he just wants to go up to Honey Clan and see if they're, what, like, what they're doing. Or maybe he just wants to sniff the new kits. And Thorn Kit actually does really need to scratch. So does Violet Kit. So I am going to wake them up from their little nap so they can come out and do some scratching. Thorn Kit, you can come scratch this scratching post. Graystorm, you are... What are you doing? Please stop lagging. Okay, you can stop grooming Graystorm right now, because you've already groomed him. I think she decided to groom him again. 
You two are really cute. Uh, Ivy Claw, how good is your relationship with everyone? You're not bad. Oh, you quite like... Noted. You quite like that cat. Uh, I think... Ivy Claw has a thing about kits. Um, you can't do any of that. She has a thing about kits, so I feel like she would go down and introduce herself to kits. Grey Storm, if you need to scratch... Why is my scratching tree... Scratching tree. Scratching tree. Why is it that colour, though? Hang on. Uh, oh, yeah. All my scratching trees. Not all... I'm very much confused. Why are they this colour? Uh, I am very much confused. You can come scratch that scratching tree. Ivy Claw. Oh, she's going to go sniff gold kit. So yeah, Ivy Claw really loves kits, and she would like kits of her own. But she, uh, I'm not sure how, uh, oh, they're nano beetle things. Um, cats. I don't think the cats can hunt them. Can you hunt these? No. Uh, but she keeps on, oh, Fran, Blackberry. She keeps on risky woohooing with Greystorm and not actually, uh, trying for kits. So, that's interesting. Okay, she's fine. <laughs> She's just feeling a bit lonely. Oh, that's kind of sad. Um, oh, she's in the nursery. Blackberry, uh, if you get up, pee. And then I feel like... Petal Kit, you're sleeping. I feel like you could talk to Dapple Pelt. Dapple Pelt? Yeah, Blackberry. You can come talk to Blackberry. Okay, Dapple Pelt. Uh, Blackberry, you can socialise. Right, Plum Ripple. Oh, Plum Ripple wants to meet someone new. What else do you want to do? You want to practice hunting on a cat toy. You can do that. Ah, uh, that. <laughs> I already curse these cats. Okay, so everyone's really tired now, and I think everyone wants to head back to camp, so that's acceptable. Uh, I'll get Silverfoot to just not freak out about it, scratch the boundary tree quickly. Uh, broken star, you can stay asleep temporarily. <laughs> Thorn, yeah, you're just scratching. I think also because it's raining, the cats would want to get back to the gorge because the gorge is much more protected against the rain with the trees over. So that's that's nice. Plum ripple. Uh, yeah, you just need to sleep more. You are, yeah, you're going to socialise with Dapple Pell. Um, you want to scratch from a cat condo. Uh, playfully pounce grey storm. Mm. And you can do a bit more socialising with Dapple Pelt because I feel like all the cats would be pretty close. And so far, she isn't. Oh, oh, who's this? He is a very interesting looking cat. Uh, who are you? Yeah, that's Broken Star. Broken Star looks weird in his. Um. Right. No, I did. Oops. <laughs> I wanted to see how long she had until she ages up. She doesn't have, um, she isn't very old. I feel like if she was a cat, she would just be out of apprenticeship. She's freaking out. Obviously, she doesn't like storms. I can understand. I don't particularly like storms. And Dapple Pelt's freaking out. Ivy Claw, and Ivy Claw's freaking out. All the cats are freaking out. Yep, everyone's freaking out. Right, you can head home. Head home. I think Plum Ripple will be desperate to get home and want to charge straight into the Queen's Den. And go to sleep. I'm sorry if the rain's really loud. I will play with the settings after this video and see if I can make the rain a little um, less loud. Hang on, I'll actually do it now. Okay, so I don't think I did anything with the rain. I don't know if I can turn the sound down. I did load things with my settings. It hasn't really worked. But I did roll for uh, Golden Kit, so hopefully Golden Kit... <laughs> uh, not hopefully, so Golden Kit is fine, so he just needs to come get something to eat. And I'll put the prey in the prey pile. get back. I think what I'm going to start doing um, is getting the warriors to come over to the prey pile to put the prey down. Instead of just dragging out their inventory. And it's just kind of a bit more realistic that way. Uh, what have you... You haven't got much in your inventory. I guess it's just these guys that have a ton in their inventory. Because Dapple Pelt doesn't really have anything either. Plum Ripple? Yeah. I think Plum Ripple will come... Come over to the fresh kill pile and just dump the food down and go and hide in a den. 
sick. She isn't feeling well. Her tummy's kind of a bit weird at the moment. She can't really put a finger on the feeling. She's just feeling weird. And she just wants to curl up in a nesting loop. That's perfectly understandable. Uh, Clam Ripple, Bikes Camp here. Uh, hang on. Hey, hold up. I saw someone was about to go drink something. Who was it? I'm going to find you. It's not going to happen. Who was it? <laughs> Golden Kit. I'm sorry. You have to wait until the cats get back. I wonder if any of the cats have a little bit of prey. Uh, Dapple Pelt, you're not asleep. Okay, Dapple Pelt would probably realise that Golden Kit's feeling hungry and would go out and hunt a bit because Dapple Pelt is kind of like his adoptive mother, like all the queens in the clan kind of are, except um, Ivy Claw and Blackberry, so only two of the queens, but all the queens in the clan when the clan first started were kind of like his mum because uh, he didn't, uh, he, she didn't really have a mother. Uh, Blackberry would probably come and hunt as well because Blackberry does seem to quite like the nursery. Greystorm, Greystorm's back. Uh, Greystorm's back? No, Greystorm's in the camp. Uh, can we eat any of these? Don't think so. Might be able to eat the rhino beetle. Hang on, place it down to see. Uh, pause. Thank you. Right, uh, Golden Kit, can you come eat this? You can come eat. Come, Golden Kit. Come, come be the chosen one. <laughs> the chosen one to eat the rhino beetle. Uh, you want to catch a beetle? You can do that if you can. Uh, Daffle Pearl, you want to? You want to sniff Blackberry? Uh, I'm gonna let you sniff Violet Kit first, though. Violet Kit. You can be sniffed. Oh, you're gonna go interact with your brother. So cute. So they don't really have much relationship with their parents, and they do. They should have a lot of relationship with one other. Yeah, it's just further down the line because my game's being stupid. Um, a guinea pig. <laughs> Apparently, there's wild guinea pigs in this field. Okay, here we go. So dap a uh, plum ripple, not bath. Dapple pelt, rare. No, the water beetle you cannot eat. Uh, I'm going to place fish in the prey pile. I feel like as it's getting colder, there's less prey in the fields. And I think they're going to have to start using the fish pool place a lot more. So it was kind of a funny coincidence the cats decided to go down to the fish pool place all on their own accord. Uh, oh, what the? Okay. I'm, I'm, I think the three-eyed fish would have a medical use because it isn't poisonous in real life. You can actually get three-eyed fish in real life. It's not like a breed of fish, I don't think. I think it's a mutation. But, um, don't trust me on that. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Silverfoot, you come give that to one of the new kids. I think you'll give the snail to one of the new kids as well. So, Silverfoot. Violet Kit, uh, I think you would present the snail to Violet Kit. Um, Violet Kit, here we go. And then you present the frog to Thorn Kit. So Violet Kit has actually come over. Uh, Thorn Kit, what are you doing? You're running around, okay. Uh, she's come over to the prey pile. Plum Riffle, yeah, I emptied your inventory. I'm just waiting on Broken Star. Did I even tell Broken Star to come over? I did. He's just being annoying, deciding to go down the black, back, 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 back way. Why do you have stuff in your inventory? Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> well, when I was being an idiot and forgot to hit record, uh, I did actually get Petal Kit to uh, get Blossom to pick some of these. I went over to the odd herb place and then I realised I didn't record. That was supposed to be at the beginning of the video and then I was an idiot and forgot to record. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. She can plant these. There we go. Uh... Violet Kit? I meant Petal Kit. If I said Violet Kit, I'm sorry. I'm terrible with names at the moment. Uh, Broken Star, you coming down? Yeah, you're coming down. That's that's good. Right, I just want to check something in your den quick because I feel like there may be... Yeah, there's, there's a... Why is there a sofa in your den? Delete. Because um, I had a piece of custom content in his den. <laughs> right. Oh, Golden Kit's going to come eat. Uh... Silverfoot, have you presented that? Silverfoot? Yeah, okay. Where's she going? 
Oh, she's gonna go. Oh, she's gonna try nuzzle Ivy Claw. I think. Yeah, that's the snail. So she hasn't actually eaten the snail. I'm not sure if she rejected the snail. But I'm gonna put the snail in her inventory so she can eat it later. Thorn kit. Ah. Yeah. I feel like Silverfoot would be the kind of cat that would kind of father all kits. Oh. Being nuzzled. So cute. Silverfoot. Yo, you gave him the fish. So apparently this cat, um, Thorn Cat actually has quite a high relationship with Silverfoot. Okay, I'm not sure why they nuzzled, because usually cats can't nuzzle until they have a higher relationship. But that's, that's good. Um... Violet Kit's going to try and nuzzle Ivy Claw. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to turn the light on as I'm up here. Off. On. There we go. Now I can actually see stuff clearly. That is always useful. Ivy Claw. So everyone is... Oh. Everyone is being adorable. Blackberry, oh, you can come in from hunting now. I don't need everyone out hunting. Broken Star, what are you doing? Oh, you're grooming your mate. I think he's he's just trying to... He hasn't really interacted with Plum Ripple very much recently. And Golden Kit is peeing in the prey pile, as you do. And I feel like they 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 have to bond... Over, they're bonding over something. And... Bleh, not over something. They're bonding, basically. I'm, I'm confusing myself. Greystone, what are you doing? You're scratching one of the normally coloured scratching posts. Or at least rock coloured. Uh, you're... Okay, hang on. I want to know what Ivy Claw is. What? She's going to go scratch. Okay. Violet Kit. You're going to sniff by... Dapple Pell. Ah. <laughs> and Golden Kit's going to go eat his frog. Oh, that's cute. I'm not his frog. He's going to go eat Thorn's frog. It's still cute. But I feel like Thorn might come and pick a bit of an argument with Golden Kit because... She ate his frog, and I don't think he'd be particularly happy about that, so I think he might chase her around a bit. And that's my frog! And just these kind of little, um, kind of relationships between the cats are so cute. I'm pretty sure Thornkit actually has <laughs> a, a lopsided ear, because I do have a mod installed. That means when I, my, my cats can... Uh, like different uh, one ear can be up one ear can be down oh Thorn you look so mad I love it when kids look mad they're hilarious in real life as well it's hilarious when the kids they get all mad my cat's actually going to have kids so happy with each other so I'm excited for that uh... <laughs> okay someone's gaining the aggressive trait and Thor Thorns, you yeah, you're chasing, you're chasing her. I think Thorns not really getting along very well. Where's is there any cats nearby? Silverfoot's crashed in the prey pile. No one's really paying attention. <laughs> the kids are just kind of squabbling with each other. And it's it's usual for certain cats to dislike other cats in a clan, so. Because she did steal his fish, and this probably won't be like an ongoing argument, it'll probably turn into like a silly relationship later. Oh, ignore that. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Ivy Claw, what are you doing? You are scratching. Dapple Pelt. You are up here. Uh, I can hear the owls. Right, come. You can come groom petal, petal kit? No, uh, violet kit. Groom violet kit for the end of the video, please. <laughs> uh, also, this is kind of late, but sorry at the beginning of the video, certain bits are cut out. I've had problems with my recording recently. So, well, just in general. So, yeah, sorry about that. Oh, so cute. Okay. I'm going to get a picture of these guys being cute and end the video. Wee, Not in the floor. End the video here, so thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to join us. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!